Tom Turnbull is not a devoutly religious man. And what I'm doing is wedging, and this, this blends the clay, mixes the clay. But in every piece of pottery he molds, uh, this is going to be a bowl. He sees something. This piece I'm making right now, I know it's going to last 10,000 years. Tom is 61. He's been sculpting clay since he was a teenager. It means something to me. And all of the pottery inside his Nashville studio were molded, he'll tell you, with the guidance of other artists' hands. She was a local artist. She was Sylvia Hyman. Tom first met her at the Frist a few years ago. I'm accustomed to being a teacher, and I'm accustomed to showing everything I know. At the time, Sylvia was 90 years old. Decades of sculpting molded her into a world-renowned artist. She was 95 years old when she died. That was in December. This is it. This is what I have. Until then, Tom's hands only crafted with porcelain. This is, this is actually her. This is, uh, this is her remains, and I use like this minute amount. But Sylvia had it specifically written into her will that Tom, okay, the ashes are right there, would get something much more valuable than money. It took some adjustment for me to get used to doing this. It, it really did. It, what better way to honor a fellow artist, he thought, than to make her a piece of art? And Sylvia was a great artist, and instantly my work became better um, with with putting her ashes in there. Anyway, they're all fired differently. And it turns out Tom, though, different. wasn't the only one in Sylvia's will. She wanted to become her medium because it was so much a part of her life. Susan DeMay also received part of Sylvia's remains and constructed so, three urns glazed with her ashes. These are her ashes. I know, at first I thought, oh, <laughs> this is a little bit weird. One of which to be displayed at the Tennessee State Museum. It had to be like her, very elegant and beautiful. Most artists just leave behind pieces of their work. Uh, I'm humbled by it. But Sylvia Hyman is now a work of art. And this, this was what she wanted. <laughs>